going on guys Kevin with Beachworks and today I'm here to talk about our DW modular surge tanks and take you through a quick installation video uh, just showing you how easy it is to get our inline fuel pumps into the surge tanks now some of you may wonder you know what's the purpose behind a surge tank uh, surge tanks provide a fuel reserve to avoid fuel starvation in high G corners and low fuel levels so you know someone that's a road racer or drifter or even some drag racers use them as well uh, just to make sure they have the proper fuel levels so they can keep away from fuel starvation uh, the DW modular surge tanks are best utilized in racing and high horsepower applications where in-tank pumps do not meet the needs of your build. Uh, we have a 2.5 liter surge tank which fits our 250 IL inline fuel pumps. Uh, you can fit up to two pumps in the tank which is good to about 900 horsepower. And then the 3.5 liter surge tank fits our 350 IL fuel pumps which take up to about 1200 horsepower with a dual pump setup. Uh, you can run these tanks without pumps as well inside the tank. Uh, it does come with a little uh, fuel pickup tube that you can hook to external pumps as well. So you can actually utilize the entire tank for a, um, like a fuel reserve. Um, other than that, we will take you through the specifications of the tank and then just bring you through a quick install. So let's get started. All right, now our surge tanks do come on their own. So you can buy a surge tank that comes with a block off plate and also a pickup tube. So you can use external fuel pumps. You do not have to run the inline pumps internally. Uh, you can also run them external as well if you wanted to up the capacity of your surge tank. But if you decide to buy kits, we do have a single and a dual pump setup. So if you decide you wanted to do a single or dual pump setup, you would remove the ring here. The top ring has your six bolts and then also your pickup tube. You want to make sure you retain the O-ring that comes on here. You want to put it on the bottom portion of the pump to make sure you have a nice seal on the pump and to make sure the pump does not move around at all in the tank. So it's as easy as that. You just install it there, slide the pump down in the tank, give it a little push, seal that O-ring, and then put your ring on top of here and bolt it down. So as you see here, we have one of the pumps installed with the ring tightened down. Um, in the 2.5 liter surge tank, it does come with dash six ports to where you have your fuel feeding in and then also any return lines that go in here to keep the bucket full at all times. And the 3.5 liter, it does come with dash eight. Thanks for watching this quick informational and installation video. Click the link below for more information.